We saw this clip this morning. This is uh, Fauci over on uh, Andrea Mitchell's show on MSNBC. And again, it, I, it's very important to me that you guys, when you're watching MSNBC, you must keep in mind these people are broadcasting from a mental institution. They're not well, they don't know what's going on. They have a complete psychotic break from reality. Anyway, Andrea Mitchell uh, asked Fauci about the mandates and listen to what he says and tell me if you think he's a good guy or a bad guy. There's so much opposition now in Congress and of course the states, even in democratic states, uh, Governor Whitmer in Michigan and other places, this is becoming just a political test and the outlook in the outlook is not at all a sure thing in the court system. Is there any thought of backing off of that and trying to avoid, you know, all the outcry against it? Yeah, but you know, Andrew, we, we really have to get people vaccinated. I mean, I understand and we all understand how people do not like to be told what to do. They want to make their own choice and their own free will. I get that and I respect that, but these are unusual times. And you can't think only of yourself and your own personal opinion, but you've got to think about your communal responsibility to get yourself and your family and indirectly then the community protected. So I would prefer, and we all would prefer, that people would be voluntarily getting vaccinated. But if they're not going to do that, sometimes you've got to do things that are unpopular, but that clearly supersede individual choices and are directed predominantly at the communal good. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about requirements. He is not a good man. I, Anthony Fauci is a collectivist. He's basically a communist, Marxist, whatever you wanna call him at this point, that you have to put aside what you think. You have to put aside the autonomy over your body and your mind. Why do you have to do it for the common good? Well. It seems he might've dropped the ball on the common good, seeing as we're two years into this thing and he's been in charge the entire time. And if the vaccines worked, and I know, I know I'm not a scientician, I'm not. If the vaccines worked, then if you were vaccinated and a crazy right-wing white supremacist lunatic who was unvaccinated walked past you, it wouldn't matter because you were vaccinated but they don't even believe in the vaccinations and they don't even, and, and they don't believe in the constitution. That's very obvious. And everything he's saying there is antithetical to everything that the United States is founded upon. By the way, Anthony Fauci has no power over you. Do you know that? Like, yeah, he's the head of the NIH. He's allowed to make recommendations and he's allowed to spew his nonsense on propaganda networks, but he can't force you to do anything yet. I don't know how long that will, that will last. I mean, the clock is running out here. But this is what I mean, and when I played this clip within the context of that it's positive, it's like enough, enough. I've just had enough, and I, I don't think I'm the only one. I've had enough of this person listening to him as if he has any right, or it's not even any right. I know he has no right to tell me what to do, but at this point, if you give him any uh, of your respect when it comes to any of this, you're, you're making a serious, serious mistake. Uh, sometimes you've got to give up, in essence, your rights for the communal good. Sometimes, you know, you shouldn't say what you think. Sometimes you shouldn't do what you think is right. You should just leave it up to unelected bureaucrats. That's what you should do. That's what you should do. Or don't. That's the positive part.